Okay guys, it is time to finish priming in here. I started priming the other day and I got to about this window. I didn't get the top completely. So I need to do the second half of the room. And then I'm gonna start on the second coat, starting from the beginning. And hopefully after that dries today, I can actually start with the other color in here. And I'm so excited. I've been really hesitant to put color up on my wall. I tried that a couple times when we first moved in and I just really ended up hating everything that I did. And so I've been hesitant to do it again because I really hate painting and I don't wanna have to keep doing it over again. So I figured at least with white, I was safe. But I feel like this room needs something bold. It's kind of small and I added the trim to add a lot of character and definition to the space. And especially with these shelves up on the wall, that helped a lot too. But I really felt like it was wanting a little bit more. And since I love Victorian, I thought, what is more Victorian than going with a really bold color, at least in a small portion of the room. So I'm only gonna be doing it on these two walls back here, so it won't drown any of the light from the windows coming in. And it's gonna be on the top half only, so we shall see. Let's get into it. I'm gonna change my clothes first because it's actually one of my good shirts, and I have a bad habit of painting in my good shirts. And then they're not good shirts anymore. So let's get to it. I have my handy paint cup. This was super cheap on Amazon. I think it was like $2.80. I linked it in my post all about the seven tips for painting like a pro. I will link that below and I'll actually stick a card up here for that video in case you need those tips. But this has actually a magnet right here. So it holds your brush, which is pretty cool. Now I gotta gather up my supplies and get to painting. Booster. Look at that. Look how awesome that is. Just holds your little paintbrush right there. So cool. readjust you a little bit. Captain's Log, day 1,452. We are still painting. It actually hasn't been that long, but I wish it would go a lot faster. Kind of like this.
down into the deep, dark recesses of trim. Being dramatic makes it more fun. start the second coat over here.
All right, are you ready to see the color? Because I'm ready to put it on the wall. Let's see what it looks like. to see how well this delicate surface tape worked. I'm um, hoping I went, it worked really well because I really, ooh, so far so good. I was really rather sloppy just because I don't really feel good. So far so pretty good. Painting is pretty much done. I have a few touch-ups, but look at this room. Seriously. Like, it is looking really good. Except for my next two projects, which is painting the faux rock fire backer, and then actually painting the floors. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but it's time to get a little bit of the cleanup done and to start putting some of the room back together at least. I have all of these shelves to completely clean. Everything has to be taken down and cleaned and dried and re-put up there. So, fun times. 